So I kind of have a fear of anxiety. And yeah, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I mean, everybody kind of fears anxiety, right? I mean, anxiety is a weird feeling to have. It's almost that feeling of being overwhelmed by anything. And I've been struggling with that since childhood. Being pretty public about it in songs that I, you know, wrote that's on the membership page if you want to go check that out. I have been struggling to speak and accentuate and use my voice for what I wanted to use it. And not only my voice, I have the anxiety of using my face, ironically. You know, with somebody that has a YouTube channel, you wouldn't think that they would have an, you know, fear of using their face or their voice or anything, but it is something that I do struggle with. Not, not exactly the fear of using my face or voice, but the fear of the anxiety that that brings me. At this moment, when I'm speaking to you guys, I have this weird sense of pressure on my chest. And I've had that forever. Every single time that I create a video, I always have that feeling. Whenever I do something uncomfortable, I always have that feeling. It's something much akin to having something like agoraphobia, where you're afraid of the anxiety that public places or awkward or embarrassing situations can bring you. It's very much the same thing. It might actually be the same thing, but it's for everything. So it is something that I've been meaning to manage for basically my entire life. And it's something that YouTube, you know, helped me quite a lot. And by watching videos from Vin, the public speaker, he's excellent at giving clear communication tips and uh, pronunciation tips and accentuation tips uh, and stuff like that. So I, I like watching videos like that just to help me speak more clearly because it helps me overcome some of those feelings, right? I've always had the problem where I, I'm not satisfied with the quality of things because I always have that anxiety of it's not enough, you know, I'm not enough. What I'm doing is not enough. What is happening around me, it's not enough. It needs to be more, it needs to be perfect because then I will not be, or otherwise I will not be satisfied unless that just is absolutely perfect. But obviously perfection is something that can never truly be achieved. So I have had situations where I'm like, you know what, it's fine. I'm just gonna do what I do and if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And while I'm doing that, you always have that fear in the back of your head where you're like, you know what, people are gonna judge you. And I actually watched a video from Vin this morning where he said it quite nicely. He said that people don't judge you as much as you think they do because they are usually thinking about themselves. People tend to think about themselves more than they think about other people. So even if they did see you do something embarrassing or, you know, maybe something wasn't perfect, they're probably thinking about what they're going to eat tonight or if they were busy with the previous day. They, they don't tend to think about you quite a lot. And even if they do, it doesn't last more than a day or two or when up until something more important comes up, they will forget about it because it's not important. There's another experiment where somebody put on like this huge chicken suit, right? This awkward, embarrassing chicken suit. And he had a guy with a camera following him, which, you know, makes it so much worse. And already in that situation, I was like, I would never, ever do that. Why would you embarrass yourself like that? And that whole experiment was just to prove that people do not care. He was walking through like a beach type vibe place with people all around him and nobody cared. He got like three looks, like just, you know, looks. And that was through maybe like a hundred people. So people don't actually care what you do. As long as you are yourself or whatever you perceive to be yourself at the moment, because people are always changing and I am somebody that values change quite a bit especially, you know, self-change when you figure something out and that changes your whole perception. But in any case, I'm getting off track. So what would I tell you guys to do in a situation when you're feeling like you're going to be overcome with anxiety? Whether it be in a classroom where you have to give an oral presentation. I know I 
Holy shit, I struggled with that a lot. You wouldn't think about it because, you know, I'm creating videos all the time. I've created more, probably more than 500 videos with my own voice or with my face and everything in it. Even though YouTube doesn't say that. But when I was younger in school and I had to do an oral presentation, that screwed me up terribly. I mean, I could have prepared 100%, which I didn't do all the time, but I could have prepared 100%. And I would still, the moment I stood up and stood in front of the class and saw all the people looking straight at me, some of them at least, I would freeze. And it would feel like I lose my words. I get lost in the thoughts in my head and I struggle to get everything out as I would. Now, I would normally, you know, eventually do the oral presentation, but while I'm doing that, I'm, I'm standing there. I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking like somebody that's afraid of public speaking uh, doing youtube videos you know creating youtube videos has helped me quite a lot because i'm you know, obviously i'm not technically speaking to anybody in the room i'm speaking to you guys through a camera so i'm just looking at the camera but that doesn't take away the anxiety of speaking to somebody and that's one of the big reasons why i don't really like using a script i usually just wing my videos because it's easier for me to do that if i have to focus on Remembering a script while I'm recording a video, it's it doesn't work with me. Like I have pre-recorded, oh, I have scripted stuff, but I usually don't tend to put my face on it because then I can just read from the screen, basically like voice acting. So I would say one of the biggest things that helped me with not overcoming but managing my anxiety would be believe by believing in myself like telling myself i am enough i know it sounds stupid but that is the case where i i'm literally telling myself you are enough or i'm making myself believe that i am the best i boost my own ego and i boost my own self-confidence by saying you're gonna be the best you create the best videos ever you are the best counter-strike player in the world right now Nobody can beat you. Nobody's better than you. You got this. And if you say that enough and you believe in yourself enough, eventually it's going to start to grow on you and you're going to start to have the sense of confidence and the sense of a little bit of a, like an ego boost, right? And that helps you so much. I think that would, that's probably the biggest thing that I have done in the past few years to help me overcome anxiety i mean i i'm still not anxiety free not by a long shot i always have these weird fears of is my, is my face looking good enough for a camera or is the mic close enough should i put the mic right next to my face so i can have all the sounds of my voice coming towards you guys or should i put the camera a little bit further away or maybe the mic further away so it doesn't bother anybody on the screen but in the reality nobody cares and i i think people just enjoy the content for being something valuable and enjoy conversations for something being valuable right if you give value to somebody that is all they need but in any case that's basically all i wanted to say just wanted to give you guys a quick update on uh, you know how to manage and handle anxiety I really hope you guys learned something from this. If you did, subscribe to the channel. You know, uh, I don't usually create videos like this, but yeah, it's it's something you'll see every once in a while. I am pretty public about it. In any case, that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.